Let's now head to Isiola County, where Herd Economic Times, accompanied by the high cost of animal feeds, has seen poultry farmers in the region invent alternative feeds to keep their business afloat. Clement Masombo tells how poultry farmers are keeping processed feeds and embracing the use of a Zola and black soldier fly to feed their birds. Following a sharp increase in prices of chicken feeds, groups of women and youth who practice poultry farming in Isiolo County have had to innovate ways of finding alternative feeds other than relying on processed feeds. <laughs> the women say that high prices have forced them to downsize their flocks, with some shutting down businesses completely. Azola farming, uh, it's, it's a water farm which is high in proteins and also in minerals. Uh, it is used to feed chicken and also other livestock, which include uh, uh, goats uh, and also fish. Irene Wangoi now uses black soldier flies and Azola, which is a free aquatic floating fan that is rich in protein content, crucial for poultry, livestock and aquatic farming. So we are using Azola uh, as a way to, to lower our production costs in terms of feeds. So we, we use Azola and we mix them with the commercial feeds, yes. Regina Wanjira is a train of trainers and has been a poultry farmer for over 15 years. She says this has turned to be her main source of income. One bird goes for between 1,500 and 2,000 shillings. <laughs> Her story is not so different from that of Rachel Mukoruru, another poultry farmer in Isiolo County. Poultry farming in Isiolo is facilitated through the Drought Resilience Project, DRIC. At least 1,000 residents of Isiolo County have benefited from the project, which aims at offering solutions to persistent drought in the region. Most of them are doing well, have taken up the activity so seriously, and their livelihood is upgraded. And also they don't have to only concentrate on livestock farming, which is uh, more riskier because of death cases and also losses. Pale mwanzo tulikuwa na kukuwetu wa kienyeji tu. Na kawainda kukuwetu wa kienyeji wakuwa wanakuwa wa kukuwa kubwa. Lakini kulingana na vile wametulete ile njogo imebandilisha kukuwetu na wako kusawa sana. Kwa saa hii njogo tunapata tunashukuru kwa sababu tunapata njogo ya kilo 5 mbeleni tulikuwa tumesoya kuku ya kilo 1 na nusu kilo 2 Clement Masombo KTN News Let's go to Machakos County